Okay, welcome to Spycom UK. In this video, we're going to be talking about the GPS Enforcer Vehicle Tracker. Now, this is a uh, covert device designed to go underneath a vehicle. It's uh, waterproof as long as the seals are closed, and it's got its own magnets on the bottom, which can be used to fix it into any metallic surface. Once it's on the vehicle and it's fully charged, um, you simply place a cord to the SIM card inside. Um, that you'll need to place inside before installing. Um, place a cord to it and it will text you back with the current location of the vehicle. Okay, so either way, whether you're gonna use the internal battery or you're gonna wire up to the car, you need to first of all insert a SIM card. Now we can supply a SIM card to you. In this case, it's just a Vodafone pay-as-you-go SIM. Uh, you are going to supply your own or you can even get a contract SIM uh, if you wish to use it over a long period of time. So first of all, open up the uh, sealed on the end of the unit and insert the SIM card. It's gold facing up on this particular unit. Push it until it clicks. And you can either, if it's going inside the car, you can attach your um, antennas to the, the gold inserts here. Or if it's going to be a magnetic uh, tracker, then just close it off. And on the reverse of the units, there's another seal here. Uh, it's used for either charging up with one of the um, UK adapters or the car charger, as in the cigarette car charger, or for the wiring loom to be plugged in as well, or the same connector, just simply goes in there. And once it's charged, or once it's powered, just simply turn it on, and it's ready. So if you do decide to go for the uh, wiring loom option, rather than just using the magnetic tracker and the inbuilt battery, it might also be worth knowing that we do supply a relay. Uh, the way this works, the relay plugs into the wiring loom and you can then pass power through, let's say, the fuel pump or star starter motor or anything that passes power through. Um, and what you can do is actually send a command to the tracker and this will actually turn on and off the switch inside uh, which results in obviously the um, uh, fuel pump switching off or whatever it is it's wired to. Now it, it is worth noting this is illegal to use uh, in, I'm sure it's illegal to use within the EU, it's certainly illegal in the UK on roadworthy vehicles but it can be used on off-road vehicles such as um, lawn mowers or plant equipment, anything that doesn't actually drive on the road. Anyone who steals it you can actually send a command and turn it off. So earlier on Alex referred to the way this track is normally used by most people in that you call it and get a text message back which has a link to give you uh, a mapping location. Now that's great um, and it is an inexpensive device in comparison to our other main GPS tracker uh, which uses a platform. So if price is an issue this is probably the one to go for. Uh, it does have though some other features that can be utilized to give you more than just straightforward locations there and then. Yes, yeah, so on top of just being able to call it direct and get a location there and then, you can actually ask it to send your locations uh, under different variables. So for example, you can ask it to send you a location every five minutes, but on top of that, ask it to send only send that when it moves a certain distance. So what will happen is every five minutes the tracker will wake up, check where it is. If it's somewhere different to where it was last, it will send you the update. If it's in the same place, it will just go back to sleep again. It does use more battery doing it this way because it is literally turning on every five minutes throughout the day. Uh, but it does mean you get regular updates without you having to ask the tracker where it is. Uh, the upside to that is if you, you know, kept calling the tracker throughout the day, um, and it just kept being in the same place. Place, eventually you're going to stop calling it because you assume it's not going to move and it probably will be then that it does. If you've got this in place, literally as soon as it moves away from the home location or work location or wherever it's parked, you'll get an update, you'll keep getting those until it gets to its final destination. Yeah, I think the difference between the, the two is that the, uh, let's say on our Revolution uh, tracker, it's got a movement sensor built in. So actually it goes to sleep and puts all the systems to sleep, saves battery life, whereas this has to have the GSM on because it needs to have a, uh, the ability to take a call request from you um, so that um, you, you can get a location back. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it, it does have that uh, facility in there, but if you do want a tracker that is tracking throughout the day automatically, it probably is better to go for the Evolution because, like I said, using this feature does drain the battery. 
So, uh, that's pretty much the overall view of this tracker. It's a very good uh, tracker, it can be found on our website. Um, and uh, it's around about the £150 mark now. That's complete and shipped to your door. So check it out.